Welcome to this Parts for PCB Designers presentation. One of the things that all PCB designers need, regardless of what PCB design tools they're using, is they're going to need symbols and they're going to need some footprints for their designs. Professional looking designs today include 3D models as well as 2D models and symbols for footprints and symbols on the schematics and in the PCB layouts. We're going to look at a, a little bit today, for example, a professional library um, would have all the parts that are consistent, meaning that all the resistors would be the same size uh, and the capacitors would be the same size, etc. as shown across here. Um, However, when you download parts from the internet, you quite often find a, a kind of a mismatch of parts. You'll find a small resistor, a bigger resistor. You'll find the descriptions for manufacturer, sometimes part number, sometimes part number. Uh, anyways, not very consistent. And then the other thing uh, professional designers need to do is create a professional looking bill of material, uh, which can also be achieved when using a a well-designed library. Anyway, the purpose of this video today is to show users how you can use an application that I call Parts to quickly and easily locate high-quality footprints and symbols and 3D models for their projects. Okay, um, I'll leave a link down below where you can download a copy of this Parts uh, front-end demo. Um, you'll find it over at pcbpartsblogspot.com. So anyway, let's say that we've placed a, uh, an inductor in our um, design. Here we got a, a Murata inductor and uh, which has been chosen. Um, the other thing with parts, let me back up and say that we can use uh, tools and import Excel. So we can import a bill of material and after we've got the bill of material imported, then we can start to search for footprints and symbols. In this library, I've already located my footprints and symbols, but um, we're going to look at an example of the steps that you could go through to quickly get footprints and symbols. So we just, uh, after loading your bill of material, you would just select an item that you're interested in uh, acquiring a symbol and footprint for, select the models, and uh, you'll be presented with a, a menu of buttons for all of the most popular resources online today for uh, libraries. You'll see Ultra Librarian, um, some Axis, PCB libraries, Snap EDA, Octopart, and also you'll find a link to 3D Central, um, which is CAD models only. Anyway, let's take a look at finding this component, and we'll try, for example, looking at Snap EDA. So we can see over at Snap EDA that we do have um, the part right here, and we have a footprint available, symbol available, and 3D model available. So we could select that. And we could download it. And then you could select whatever tool you're using. For example, let's select um, ORCAD this time. We'll download that. And after I've got the file downloaded, what I would typically do is uh, this is a non modal form also, so we can either close it or leave it open. But I would go here to where my CAD models are, and I would open that folder. And then I'll just drag and drop this zip file into there. And after I've collected all of these footprints, I'll come back through here and do an extract all and extract those files, and read the instructions on how to complete the import into your tool. And uh, then you would have your footprint and symbol and your step model. Anyway, that can be accomplished um, on most of these platforms. Um, for any of the most popular CAD tools, again, you can see that we can have Altium uh, all the way down through Target uh, 3000. I think there's about 24 or 25 tools that are supported at, at SnapCAD. Um, and most of the other uh, formats also support multiple tools. But if we wanted to search for all of these resources, we could just click on this link here and open all of our library resources. And our browser would open up um, over at Octopart. I was filtering for uh, parts that had models and symbols. So um, it's the reason we've got a blank page is because there's not a uh, model or a 
symbol available or footprint or symbol available. There's just data sheets and links to uh, suppliers. But again, over at SnapCAD, we saw the part was available there. And at PCB Libraries, we could log in and download the part there. Over at uh, some access, we can see the footprint and uh, models there for download. Ultra Librarian um, didn't have the part this time. We can verify that by selecting it and seeing no symbol or footprint available. Um, let's just look at maybe one more. So we could, after getting our, our first footprint there, we could just simply scroll down to the next item on our bill of material. Here we have a TDK capacitor. Again, we would just select uh, open all library sources. Again, we don't see one over at, um, at Octopart. Um, let's see what we've got over at Snap EDA. Doesn't look like we have anything there either. Over at PCB Libraries, we've got a footprint. Um, we don't have a footprint over at Symaxis. And let's see what we've got here. It looks like we might have something at Ultra Librarian. So this time, uh, Ultra Librarian uh, comes through for you. And also notice that when we're opening all of these sources, that does not include 3D Central because 3D Central doesn't provide footprints and symbols, but they do have CAD models. Um, so, for example, if we wanted to find a, a capacitor, we might come over there and look for capacitors. And then from there, we could um, locate a, a footprint um, that we could use for uh, our 3D model on our, in our design. Anyway, that's all there is, uh, and this part's front end, um, like I say, could be used with any of the CAD tools to quickly uh, gather up and organize uh, footprints and symbols that you might need for uh, your next project. I'll leave a link down below um, to PCB Parts Dogs about Block Tom, where you can download a copy of this demonstration and use it for uh, 30 days or up to 100 parts for free. And also, when you download this, um, you'll get a free access database that can be used um, even without this parts front end. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.